I'll never forget. That night, for the first time in 120 years, snow fell on Santa Destroy. It was a sign. Another change, both beautiful and deadly, was coming. It's called fashionably late fuckface. Travis, touchdown. This place bring back any memories? It's only where my last killing spree started. All those screwed up ranking fights. Now why would I remember that? It'll be your blood this time, when I avenge my brother! Draw! Brother? Who? Don't you remember the man you fought here? Um, no. Can't say I do. Guess he didn't make an impression. Must have been crazy weak. You insensitive prick! You killed him and you don't even remember! You know how humiliating that is? Sorry. I don't keep a death diary. And in case you're wondering, I'm even stronger now. You will lose! You've got no chance of winning this. <laughs> You're something else. I haven't been so worked up in ages. When you see your bro in hell, tell him he's still a douche! Brace yourself! Hello? What would you like me to do? So, it's you again. I know, because you never say a word. It reminds me of the ocean. Your calm breaths. Like the faint sound of waves. You know, I used to love the beach. 
So what should I tell you this time? Oh, it was snowing today. It's strange what triggers our memories. I'll never forget. That night, for the first time in 120 years, snow fell on Santa Destroy. It was a sign. Another change, both beautiful and deadly, was coming. Blanketed in white, the city never looked so beautiful. But anything so pristine must be cursed. White turned to red, and he lost his mind. You won't get away with this! Go, 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 go. Go. as an assassin, and still a hygiene-impaired slob, I see. Sylvia? Is that it? You gotta be kidding. I haven't seen you in three years, and that's the welcome I get? How about you fill us in on everything that's happened since the last game? We're not gonna be satisfied until you do, right? Oh, give me a break. There are people starting from the sequel who don't care about continuity, you know. Besides, it would take forever if I recapped every detail of your fall from greatness. Players would skip it. It's so boring. Well, I... I guess you got a point there. Sometimes you have to look at things from different angles. Now, may I? This man was the 51st ranked assassin. Since you've killed him, that officially makes you 51st. And that means you are qualified to fight in the ranking battles again. So, how about it? If you're a real man, you'll do anything to climb back on top. Because trust me, the view is still very satisfying. Hold on. Why would I have to start from rank 51 this time? More competition. The last game's success made assassination trendy. Yeah. But I already fought my way to number one before. Shouldn't I get a special fast track to the title fight? No, but you will get a special prize. Shut up. You can't bribe me this time. I've already tasted those goods. But just a taste. This time, you'll get the five course meal. Five course? Mm. Wait, I don't get what that means. Did you know I am a yoga master, hmm? Yeah, you don't say. Are you familiar with any yoga positions? Like, uh, down, downward dog? The dog can do all sorts of things. So can the cobra, the rabbit. C cobra Rabbit? Like, together? Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah! I'm in it to win, baby. Number one, here I come! Hey! We're not done yet. I've got a message for you. 
Oh my, he's still alive. Pain in my ass. Why aren't you dead yet? Such blind arrogance. Like the naked emperor. Seriously? I cut off your head? Travis! You are the loser. This fight was only part of our plan. Our plan? I said I'd avenge you killing my brother, didn't I? Well, who's been a brother to you? What? Travis. Don't think you can kill without suffering consequences. To kill someone is not simply to end their life. One must risk their entire being in order to destroy another's. Up until now, you've had it easy. I've taken the curse you gave me, the shackles of revenge, and I'm throwing them back on you. Now it's your turn to be burdened with another's death. It has destroyed me, and it will destroy you too. This is the ultimate vengeance! Hirishamase! I was just, uh, doing inventory. Help you find something? Nah. We're just here to collect. Travis! The heavenly dust returned to its maker, leaving in its place a blanket of sadness that covered Santa Destroy. Then the sun returned, and with it, deafening gunfire and clanking swords, the battles had resumed. Demons disguised as men running wild in an orgy of ultraviolence as if to purge their souls of the hatred that blighted them. I have set up the next ranking fight. Where are you? I don't care who the fuck it is. Just give me someone to fight. You sound passionate. What's gotten into you? Someone killed Bishop! I understand. 
Wait for me at Burger Suplex. Close. You mean your best friend? The shopkeeper? Sylvia, I want to make a deal. I'll conquer the rankings, fight whoever it takes. And in return, you find me the assholes who killed Bishop. Calm down. You shouldn't make this personal. It is the quickest way to lose a battle. This isn't a battle anymore. It's a motherfucking war. Fine. It makes no difference we... The mastermind behind Bishop's death is the owner of Pizza Bat. This building? Most of this city? He is the head of the corporation that runs it all. Jasper Bat Jr. And as fate would have it, he is also the number one assassin. You better not be lying. It is a fact. The object of your revenge is waiting at the top of the ranks. Wonderfully convenient, don't you think? Sure is. There's a new hotel on the beach. The 50th ranked assassin is waiting for you there. By the way, Bat Jr. owns that hotel, too. He really is everywhere, huh? Better hurry. There are 50 other fighters trying to kill him. You have no time to waste. Just sit back, Sylvia. And watch the hell I'm gonna raise. <laughs> He was the leader of a religious cult, taking advantage of people's sorrows. He used his music to lure followers. He spoke of a grand faith, but his words were hollow. It was all to satisfy his own goal. He'd only found success because of strong financial support from the new mafia, who used his pulpit to gain support for their own agenda. Many believed he was just a tool of an up-and-coming gangster. But the real goal that drove him? <laughs> That's a secret. Yeah. 
Where are you being? Thank <laughs> you. 